Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Star Wars Captain Phasma Issue 1. Before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, we have Comic Uno Episode 207, and that show will review all the comics I read this week in one show. So if you want to go check out the exclusive comics in the description below, uh, they will be provided, and the link will be there too uh, when the episode's posted on Friday. But let's start talking about the journey to Star Wars The Last Jedi and Star Wars Captain Captain Phasma issue one. So Captain Phasma was a character everyone was really excited for when The Force Awakens happened. And then she didn't really do much in the movie. So I was really excited about this book. I am a big fan of Kelly Thompson's writing and I wanted to see a bit more of Captain Phasma and also finally having a connection to Last Jedi. Obviously a lot of things have been hush-hush about the movie but we're finally getting a little bit more as we get closer to December. Uh, so let's start talking about this. Gorgeous cover. I love the cover here. We get to see Captain Phasma right in the middle where uh, we also get to see Rey and um, Kylo uh, in the back there. So I thought that was cool. So gorgeous cover here. And another thing that really makes this issue is the artwork. Oh my god. The artwork is jaw-dropping uh, with the action sequences here, the coloring. I love the blues. I, I just love it. The coloring's so good here. Um, again, I was just in awe with the the amazing, amazing artwork here. Um, really great for a more action-driven issue. But yeah, these moody blue cover uh, colors just work so well for this book. But let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, we get to see Captain Phasma is kind of on her own mission. She sees that there's this traitor, and she's trying to figure out who it was. And uh, we get to see this is in between the whole battle with, um, obviously, attack with the the First Order um, and the Resistance. So we get to see that connection, obviously, between um, The Force Awakens and The Last, Last Jedi. So uh, we just get to see a battle between that. What was Captain Phasma doing? And uh, we also get to see a view of a new character that we saw some from some of the merchandise, which is the, the dark version of BB-8. So that was kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of Captain Phasma trying to figure all this out, like what's going on, who's attacking them, again, who is the traitor. And that's kind of it. Um, there's not a lot of story here. Uh, and that was my biggest problem with this. I think, again, the artwork is so good for this book, and what what is what really makes it is the artwork. But the story kind of fell flat. Even the dialogue, I know that Captain Phasma is a really cold character, but it, you really felt it through the di dialogue. And I didn't really feel for the story because of that, because it's so calculated and her trying to figure out stuff, and it's not as badass as you would expect with the, the dialogue. So I think something that really needs work is the story itself. I think it was pretty slow, there's not a lot going on, and I want more from Captain Phasma's character, just because we don't know a lot about her. I want to learn more about her, and I thought that's what this series would do. I'm definitely going to pick up issue two, but I wasn't as impressed with the story compared to the artwork for the book. So, Star Wars Captain Phasma gets three stars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links to my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.